Alright, so it's been over a year since the biggest event in internet history, KSI versus Logan Paul. Sold out in Manchester Arena and millions over the world watched. It was a huge event. As we all know, it ended up in a draw. There's obviously been a lot of controversies, whether this has been faked, has it been staged, and I can tell you for a fact it hasn't. But like you can tell the hard dedication both KSI, JJ and Logan, Logan Paul have put into their training and it's a pride thing at the end of the day. As much as they are going to get that bag and they're going to get a hell of a bigger bag this next fight and the rematch, both of them want to win. Now stick around for the video, leave a like, subscribe and turn that post notification bell because we are going to be reacting to the trailer. We're going to react to the trailer now and then afterwards we're going to talk about the fight and my thoughts and my predictions and just talk about all the boxing controversy. I don't think you realize what you've walked into. Okay, biggest, let's go. Nice little montage. It was a, it was a hell of a brawl. They've turned pro, that's what they had. No head guard this time. The talking has begun. An angel career. Wow, look at that. And there we, there we have it. There's a the trailer for KSI versus Logan Paul 2. The rematch. So what we've all been waiting for. There was obviously a lot of spark and controversy around is the fight even going to happen? Like a lot of people were saying it's for money, but it wasn't even going to happen because people were saying it was Logan's team, then they were saying it was JJ's team. There was just a lot of miscommunication, I think, there, but they finally have obviously come together, their management teams, and sorted something out. November 9th. 2019 this year i'm hopefully going to be attending this at the staples centers in la massive amazing venue where a lot of artists perform and a lot of amazing boxing matches go on now with this being a pro fight no head guards it means now there's not going to be like the last fight which is all the undercards being youtubers all the undercards are actual real boxers professional boxers heavyweight boxers and this has sparked a lot of controversy in the boxing community and there's, there's a few points the first point is that I understand anyone who's a proper boxing fan and the boxing community and all the people that are into that industry they're gonna be pissed they're thinking how are these two youtubers when really they're amateurs they're beginners in their case even though we seem like oh that's actually they're decent and they are they're decent for how much they've trained for that they're going pro but these big people are like how are these YouTubers taking over and ruling, selling out more than professional fights when certain boxers and fighters dedicate the whole life? Like every single day since I was like six years old fighting for an opportunity and they can't even sell out as much as these YouTubers. I mean, it just shows the impact. I mean, I understand where they're coming from. It does show the impact of social media in this society in this day and age. But the other side of the argument and that what sort of Eddie Hearn is saying a little bit, even though it is sort of tarnishing the brand it also isn't because the other side of the argument which i really like because being a youtuber and creator myself it does well for youtube and even for the boxing side it represents boxing they're gonna have a whole new audience a teenage kid audience that they wouldn't have had before and that's why this fight's gonna be so interesting imagine there's gonna be 40 50 year old men there like proper men and there's gonna also be little girl fans of Logan Paul like that is and okay, so it's gonna be very weird dynamic but yeah I'm hopefully going to be going if you didn't already know I went to the last one I actually filmed a documentary if you click here right now you you will be able to watch the documentary I made like a mini documentary on the whole thing where I went there I vlogged the experience I showed and I uh, told my go the insights of the actual boxing match even got a little VIP as well and you know, I was like right near the front. I was literally just behind the ringside. It was amazing to watch. I mean, it was just an amazing night. And I also gave my insights and opinions before and after the match. This fight is going to be very interesting because I'm a fan of both of them. Like I've always been at heart from years a KSI fan. I've been a JJ fan, watched him and the Cybermen for many years. I've probably about 10, nine, eight, nine years now. And also Logan, in the last year or two is really grown on me as a person and as a youtuber and they're both very egotistical if i'm being honest let's be honest and also people that they're dedicated and i've got uh, you anyone got, has got to respect their work ethic dedication anything they put their mind to that being youtube music boxing writing uh doing skits anything they can pretty much do it and achieve very very well 
it's going to be a difficult one because after the last fight, JJ, KSI, he sort of relaxed. He went down the, the approach of chilling out, going on holiday, drinking, chilling out with his friends. Obviously, obviously you had the tour New Age with Randolph. That took off a lot of period of time over Christmas. He had the beef with Deji. Lots and lots of things happened for him. And he wasn't really focused on the boxing match too much. I'm not really sure what the reason for that was. Maybe that is Vidal's plan because I know he does have that intense training. Like it's actually a camp with Vidal. Um, shout out Vidal Riley, man. He's coming up on YouTube now. He's actually decent. And as obviously pro, pro fighter himself, he gives JJ and as well as Leon Wills great tips. And with Logan, as soon as the, match, the boxing match finished, he was still training throughout the whole year of November, December, all the way to up to now. And he has been more, he's always been more of the athletic sort of, you know, wrestler, like high school sort of jock kid, that athletic kid that can pretty much be very good at a lot of things. At the same time, JJ does have that sort of weirdly human strength, like that inner human strength that's just within him. And he's trained on that. And obviously, he's had the Joella fight. Now he's had a taste of Logan. And obviously, as we saw, it's going to be difficult because obviously we saw... Logan won the first two rounds and maybe like I think it was like round I think it was like round four or three or four and then JJ switched it up and the way JJ came back in the last one was phenomenal because I was scared he's gonna lose in the first match because you know he, he didn't quite pick up the pace but at the end he did have the stamina and I think Logan that's one thing Logan is definitely gonna be working on without a doubt he's gonna be getting his stamina up and his fitness but at the same time I feel like JJ like he he really did bulk everyone's making the memes about bulking but like he said in his video, it was for a reason. Like he got you got a bulk to shred and he's still gonna be overall just a bigger dude. They both want it so bad, you can just tell. I can imagine being in that situation, or if you imagine being in that situation, you just want it so bad. You got millions of fans, you got people around the world, and you just have a person that you're competing against that's similar in subscribers to you as well and the fame. It's going to be a very, very interesting boxing match. Whatever happens, whether I go or I don't go, I'm pretty much I'm, go I'm going to be going. But I'm going to be giving you content around that period of time on November 9th in Staples Centre. And maybe a, a little doc mini documentary, you never know. I feel like JJ as well. A bit like how Vidal said in the um interview recently, he's going to be... I mean, even JJ knows this. He's gonna, he needs to be using that jab more, JJ, because it's lethal against someone. I mean, Logan used it very well as he does have the longer reach and etc. And I feel like one thing that maybe JJ is going to improve on and probably has improved on is not leaning too forward and leaving like his arms to, like his face to expose, his like body to expose, and maybe keeping his guard up a bit more, going in and out, trying different things. I think he's going to gradually break down Logan, but at the same time, Logan is going to have that stamina, and they both. I've got to say, I've got very big hearts because there's some points where in the first two rounds I thought JJ was going to get not, uh, knocked down or fall over or just be finished. And, and a lot of sixth round, especially for KSI, like when KSI was hitting Logan, you we all saw Logan's legs were shaking. He was almost about to go, but they both had the heart in them to keep going, which was amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. Who do you want to win? Who do you think will win? Give me predictions. What round will the knockout be? In my opinion, I think, and I love them both, but I think that KSI, he's just going to dig a bit more deeper and he's more strategic to this and not just about the, the, you know, the structure of the body, but he's actually boxing technique-wise. He's going to come through and he's going to knock Logan out in the... I want to say fifth round, fourth or fifth round, I'd say. It could be sooner, it could be later, we don't know. Or if it's another draw, then what's good? Can we just please not make it another draw? Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, what's good? I upload every single day. It's your boy Zingy, you already know. If you want some of this merch as well, let me know in the comments. Born Entertainer, you already know. Millie Rock and hit that notification bell so you get reminded and notified every time I drop a video, which is every day. I love you all. Be yourself, be weird, be different. Chase your dreams, strike your dreams, and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies. Dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around
Peace and respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown